Here are the highlights from the first meeting of the Vermont Peg Access Legislative Study Committee on June 27th. Created as part of the Act 79 broadband bill, the committee is considering changes in federal and state law and policy, market trends, and any other matters that have an effect on the availability of or funding for peg access channels and services in Vermont. Footage provided by Orca Media. A great deal is changing in the world of information services and media delivery. And some of the outcomes that we can anticipate from those trends and some of them are unknown. Through the work of the Peg Access Study Committee, we hope to be able to make recommendations to the Vermont Legislature that will support the sustainability of public educational and government access TV channels and the 25 community media centers that provide production, training, and management services to communities across the state. And uh, we think that uh, Peg Access TV stations are an invaluable resource for local governments. They give a voice to our community, and they also provide both accountability and transparency for local government. So uh, we're, we're happy to be here and look at how can we actually make this a sustainable model going forward. I've been thinking about this in terms of there being three buckets of issues that we need to wrestle with. I see us needing to discuss a cable franchising authority as it currently exists, where we might possibly go from here, what are the federal limitations, what, you know, what is the role of the state in this, uh, legislative um, recommendations on the regulatory landscape, and then funding streams. We're drawing a picture of where we are today, mm -hmm. what's the current situation. Yes. Um, what is the state's authority to actually require funding in different realms? Yeah. Are there any federal preemptions on state authority? and then um, possible and, and ways forward in terms of alternative funding streams available through the legislature. I think it'd be helpful to also um, look at where there are holes, um, where, for instance, we don't have access to a peg TV station in where I live, nor do we have access to internet. So. I have a, a strong affection for our, our local access uh, provider in Valgro as Karen has spoken to, as Mike has spoken to, that we rely on public access TV channels to broadcast um, meetings that otherwise many of our constituents wouldn't get to. Um, in Wyndham County in particular, we have a, a, an aging population, um, and many people get their local news strictly from public access. And so I think we're very concerned long-term, many of my constituents long-term, about how we're going to create a sustainable funding stream for this invaluable resource.